Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, um, I have a bit of splaining to do. Uh, yeah, this, uh, flight's going pretty well. I just need to change this right here. Yeah, that's what I want to click. Um, yeah, so, this is my, uh, whatever it's called. Oh my god, I can't even remember. It's the communications, uh, part module for the Kerbal Space Station. Um, my main focus right now is going to be the Kerbal Space Station. I kind of want to square everything away. Um, certain modules, uh, I said I have about 14 launches to do or so for that, and I mean, there's certain parts that I'm not going to add, at least for right now. Uh, certain things like the... Um, well, you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna leave it a mystery. I, I have 14 launches. Put it that way. Five, wait, five, six, seven of them. I really can wait until later to do. But for now, um, I'm going to be launching the communications tower, obviously. And uh, yeah, so the explaining I have to do. Um, I had a slight failure with the Kerbal Space Station. Uh, nothing happened to it, uh, sort of. But Anyways, what ended up happening is I got a little rambunctious. I ended up adding everything that... I ended up launching this piece. Uh, I kind of screwed it up and somehow Bill died. I, I, I don't... And it's not even like a bad thing. Um, and I ended up just reverting the flight and fixing everything. But basically, there's a this little decoupler here on my craft. And... I ended up decoupling everything and I time warped and the decoupler went inside the space station. It just destroyed everything. Um, it was kind of a setback, but I ended up basically just quick saving and going back to the most recent quick save. And I ended up relaunching the centerpiece as well because I kind of was a little bit mad about the fact that those solar panels were broken. So I deorbited that thing and basically restarted the space station from scratch, if you want to call it that. Um, I mean, nothing too serious. I, I'm, I'm not going to say that it was a good thing or a bad thing, but basically, I don't. he didn't actually even die. I don't think he even died, to be honest, because he just disappeared. Like, the upper portion, the part that we launched in the previous episode didn't even get damaged so somehow he just disappeared from the craft like I don't know freaking aliens or something I, I just I, I was like what is going on here but he disappeared and the other guy that was on the craft itself died um so yeah not that I don't want to kill my Kerbals or anything like that, or, you know, that, like, I want to run it without trying to kill anybody, but it, it wasn't like I was like, okay, well, I need to reset it just because of the fact that I killed somebody. It wasn't even like that. It was just, uh, I was just, like, dumbfounded that that even happened, so that was kind of more of the reason why. It, it really didn't, um, I didn't expect that to happen, so, I mean, that's what a lot of people say, too, but it, it's... I was just like, what the heck? Like, I didn't even do anything wrong. And I, I just ended up time warping and destroying everything by accident. So, yeah, anyways, <laughs> wow. We're gonna get this module docked up here. Um, it's funny, because I launched my last episode... Well, the, the episode where I actually docked this thing up was awesome because I ended up having like a little bit of a failure but it didn't destroy the flight uh, what ended up happening is this main rocket stage decoupled itself I, I don't know how and I, I didn't even touch the control surface in any kind of way or I mean not the control surface but the uh, the staging at all and it, it just broke off while it was uh, firing and it completely screwed up our orbit, and I salvaged it, and I got it all the way to the space station. It was pretty freaking epic. But I was just like, yeah, I, episodes like that, I end up, you know, having to, I end up screwing something up or whatever. But 
episodes where it's like uneventful just always seem to litter the entire yeah whatever I, I'm just going off on a tangent um, kill these engines uh, kill the engines please um, that's beautiful uh, yeah there we go so now let's get ourselves to the space station and get our next piece docked up what is this Kerbal Space Station ship yeah, this is the Kerbal Space Station. I, I I thought I changed the name of it, so or not to change the name, but changed it to an actual space station. So whatever, I you know I had to revert a little bit, so we'll we'll name it when we get there. What is this, Kerbin? One thirty nine. That's one sixty two. I kind of screwed this up a little bit. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll do our burn over here. And let's see what we can get. This is looking pretty good. Um, it's 20 off. Once again, I, I don't really care so much about it being absolutely perfect, but the closer we can get, the better. I, I think I'm going to decouple the main stage here, which kind of sucks. There's a little bit of fuel, but... Uh, it's so hard to maneuver, so I'm just making sure everything's right. Alright, see you later. And, okay, so we need to flip around here. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna, si All right, no, I'm not gonna time warp. Um, I'll just lock on to whatever it is that we need to get to. I think... I shouldn't do that just right now because it is freaking out a little bit, but hopefully this piece doesn't decide to say, hey, I'm going to come back and just go into the middle of your ship. Yeah, it was a little bit annoying that that happened, but there's really nothing you can do about stuff like that. So, you know, I, I tried my best. That's all I can say. As long as at the end of the day I can say I tried my best. But we got a little burn coming up here. Um, let's see. Now, I hope you guys are liking the Kerbal Space Station. Um, I am shooting this video a little bit ahead of time. You guys, it pretty much isn't even released yet. Um, the videos aren't even public. So, you know, I'm really hoping that you guys are liking the... Why am I burning... Is this... What is going... Oh my god. Again? Again? Really? Uh, control from here? Yeah, obviously. Um, see what happens when you go inside and do an IVA. Um, you deorbit yourself. Now hopefully I can salvage this. I think I'll be alright. Burn, 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 like crazy. See, I, w I should have been paying attention to this, because this would have told me that I was burning the wrong way, but, yeah, I, I just kind of expect things to always happen. So, we, we got a little suspense this episode. I almost deorbited. So, deorbited it. De did it. So, they, that, um, yeah, so the Kerbal Space Station, um, I did on my last episode notice that... I am getting a little bit of frame rate issue. It's nothing serious, but it is it's not like it's destroying the game, but it's starting to get down there. And I can't believe how you know how much stuff like I really haven't done with it yet and it's already like conking out a little bit, but it's not that bad. I'll keep launching until it gets so bad that it's just basically unbearable that you like I think the Kerbal Space Station for anything is just going to be kind of like the last Kerbal Space Station uh, it's gonna be really cool to look at but functional uh, functionality wise um, I don't really think we're gonna get a lot out of it and that's gonna be because the frame rate is going to eventually deteriorate to the point where even using it or going near it with a ship is just gonna be like unbelievably horrible lag but with uh, Jebediah here, Jebediah is going to be the first one, I guess, if you want to say that now, 
inside of the new space station, even though there's really nothing new about it. Um, and then the next launch, I'll throw Bill and Bob and maybe a couple other guys in with the launch. That way we can have some, uh, some other people on the space station. Because right now it's just going to be him by himself in a massive space station. So... I'm sure he'll find some things to do. There's there's board games. Um, he can play a board game by himself. I don't know how fun that would be. That's like Forever Alone style. That's like going to the movie theater by yourself. But, uh, you know, like, it's funny. Because I remember I first moved to New York um, back in 2007. And I don't know for any of you guys. A lot of you guys are younger or, you know, whatever. But... Basically, I mean, once you guys go off to, like, college or, you know, whatever it is you're going to be doing. Um, but if you ever have been just transplanted from one place to another, you really realize how valuable just having your friends and just having everything around you all the time. And you just don't really realize on how important some of these things are. And, you know, when you first move and you get a little homesick, like... I was just unbelievably homesick when I first moved, and, you know, it's like I had no friends, and nobody really, you know, other than people at my job, which don't even get me started on them. Uh, certain people I like, certain people I don't, put it that way. Uh, but, you know, you get homesick, and then, like, I remember my stepfather was like, well, if you want to, you could go to the movies by yourself, and I'm like, yeah, no. But it was just a whole nother story. Uh, we just loaded in Kerbal Space Station. Pretty close. Now we should be... Yeah, we're, we're pretty friggin' close. But yeah, moving here was probably one of the most challenging and most rewarding things I think I've ever had in my entire life. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am from Michigan. The, but I do live in New York now, so it, I moved here, like I said, 2007, but it, it's been fun, you know, I, I've experienced and done a lot compared to most of my friends back home, and I, in a way, feel bad for them. So, it, it, not bad for them in a, in, you know, bad way, but it's more of like, okay, well... Oh my god, I have to fire my engines in order to power my spacecraft because I forgot to deploy the solar panels. Um, okay, where are the solar panels on this craft? So we, we got some more suspense. Can I extend them without power? I believe so. Alright, these are extended. I forgot to put a thermic generator on this thing so oh my god we're getting really close oh my god we're getting really really close there we go um we have no control over this craft right now so what i'm gonna end up doing is just kind of writing everything um do i have rcs control yes i do um i'm just gonna bring this up it looks like we're pretty well lined up as well. I mean, it really isn't going to cause that much of a problem, but I don't want to smash into anything here. Uh, come on, bring it down. We're pretty, pretty close. But I'm going to wait until we get on the light side just so I can get power back, because I am... I, I, Wow. It's the first time I've made a mistake like this in a long time, but... I really should put the thermic generators on here, but it was kind of cool how I would fire my engines and then the lights would come on for a second and then turn back off. So I wonder if I do a little bit of a burn. Actually, I, I, I can't even do a burn right now. That, that wouldn't be smart. Uh, bring this to the center. Why is this way out here like that? There we go. And cancel out that. Yeah, we have no control, so things are just going to get a little bit wobbly and shaky for a second. Because the reaction wheels and the ASAS module doesn't work. 
Not unless if you got um, power and everything else, obviously. So I'm gonna flip. Can I flip this? Or are we? Yeah, we got power back finally. So turn these lights on. We can use all the amenities now. There we go. Um, we need to line this up a little bit, and you can see we just like completely regain control back. So flip this. The space station, I did rock it a little bit, too, and that was kind of my fault for doing that, but... Oh, we need to flip over. What am I doing? You can see the frame rate is taking a little bit of a poop. Um, nothing bad, but... You know, I think it has to do with the truss. <laughs> a little bit. Just, just a smidgen. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is... If anything, if it gets really unbearable, I'm going to redesign the truss and basically not put any of the structural support um, of the, whatchamacallit's on there, the uh, struts. I, I did kind of OD on the struts a little bit, and that was my fault, so. Turn on the SAS, so what am I doing? Uh, and there we go, perfect. All right, so I think we're kind of lined up. I mean, it's not bad, so I just don't know why I have no control. All right, there we go. Like, am I out of RCS already? Why isn't, uh, oh my god, my keys are, my fingers are on the wrong keys. Once again, this happens. There we go, bring this up. I'm like, why am I floating away? What's going on? It's a blonde moment or something. I, I I don't know. For all you people who are blonde that watch my channel, I'm sorry. I am blonde myself, I think. I, I don't know. I like to call it a light brown. <laughs> a very, very light brown. But, bring this up. Let's, let's get docked up. Um... Uh, Try to line this up a little bit. Now, another really good thing that did happen, uh, it, I uh, ended up complaining how it wasn't perfectly lined up, and I didn't even intend for this to happen, and I was actually just completely surprised that it did, but I ended up docking this piece up perfectly, and when I say perfect, like, if you switch between craft, like, there's no difference between one module and the other like you can't even see it. it's either the there is and I'm just not seeing it or it's just so small that the it's not even picking it up or something I, I didn't even intend for that like it was the first dock too I was just like let's get this thing docked up I want to get going I want to start doing some more episodes come on and yeah it just was perfect it, it was absolutely perfect doesn't happen often but it was a nice little thing to see. So let's... We're getting pretty close. I'm going to have to cancel out. Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to have to cancel out a little bit of this movement. Uh, why does it look like we're not even lined up with this? Oh, it's because we're on the other side of it? What? Oh, I, I I set the wrong target. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to go up a little bit. Oh, God, are we going to hit? We're going to hit. Go up, 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 up. Uh, I think we grazed the space station a little bit. Nothing too bad. Slow us down, and, and we're just going to do a quick flippity floppy. And we'll get attached up in a second. Uh, which way am I floating here? That way. We're just going to have to flip, and that shouldn't be too hard. I need I'm just trying to line this up and figure out what how I'm gonna do this it really isn't gonna be that hard but 
And that's what she said. Now that we've grazed the station a little bit, I hope I didn't damage the panel on there again. I'm just going to be angry. I'm, I will break something if I broke the panels off of this thing. I didn't deploy them, thank God, but if I did destroy the panels again, that's just not going to be cool. This game is sadistic. I've always stated this, and it likes to see you squirm. So oh, bring it down, bring it down, down a little bit. There we go. Um, we need to go off to the left here. And kind of twist it. That's looking good. That's looking real good. So just turn on the SAS, even though I don't think it's doing anything. And we need to stop going up, even though it's helping us. Oh, God, what's going on? What happened to my controls? I think I'm drunk. Jeb, go home. You're drunk. Jeb is just having fun. That's what it is. He's just like, let's screw this up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need to go the other way. I don't know what I was thinking. It was such a bad idea. But I hope... You know, once again, I, I think I've said this already like ten times, but I really hope that you guys are liking this station. Uh... This is, you know, it has all these little communication satellites and, are not satellites, um, the, whatever they're called, uh, freaking dishes, the satellite dishes and all that stuff on it, and I got, uh, the little radio antennas and stuff like that on here. This is a strictly communications, strictly communications, uh, part of the space station. Uh, I really should help out with you know making those collect calls and for Jeb to look up some you know good stuff on the computer if he has a computer probably not so let's kinda of flip this a little bit that's looking good I, it looks like we're pretty well lined up so the docking in this game has really changed though that's the one thing I will say because of the the changes with the SAS it really has made things a little bit harder and it's changed how it works. The modules, whatever you're trying to dock up, tends to kind of flop around a little bit. And it, I really don't like it. Because the old one, it would keep things locked on perfectly centered and straight, 100%. This, it kind of allows, it gives too much play. So let's, let's just get this thing docked up already. Start barreling down at the space station as quick as possible. Only to slow down eventually. But we're looking good on RCS. Everything's looking good. I'm going to have to just transfer out some RCS once we get close and get docked up. And then I'll show you the Coppola module. This is one of a couple that will be added to the space station. So... This is the first time I've actually used the Coppola module for anything. Usually, I, I just never really liked it. I never really thought of any real purpose for it. So, you got a nice clean dock, too. That was pretty good. Um, it doesn't look like we're too lined up, though. That's the only thing I have a problem with. Uh, let's just see what we got. So, control from here and control from here now it looks like we're off by a little bit um, it did flip around but we're basically in the same direction it's just flipped so that's not that big of a deal to me so so we're right next to the what is that 50 yeah that's we're right next to the 50 there right below it so, yeah, I think that is pretty well lined up. I'm not really going to make any changes to it, I don't think. You can see this thing is kind of rocking a little bit, too. That's weird. Well, anyways, let, let's transfer out the RCS. I mean, if worst case scenario, um, I might have to end up launching another mission and just kind of replacing it again, but... 
Uh, I have a few plans for, you know, being able to move modules around and stuff like that in case of, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I have, you can see there's all these little small docking ports on everything, and I plan on putting those on basically every single part that gets launched. And that will be for, like, adjusting. Um, you know, you'll be able to adjust a module in a specific way, or you'll be able to do something that you previously couldn't do. And I'm really hoping that works out. I, I don't know 100% if it's going to be flawless or anything like that, but it's going to be a little bit like how the International Space Station has a lot of, like, spare, smaller docking ports kind of placed sporadically throughout the place. Um, or if you want to compare it to the, the arm, you know, to service the space station or whatever to grab on to you know the incoming so so use craft and stuff like that but um let's see or if it's the or the dragon module too the the dragon spacex but um okay i'm a little skeptical i'm on a quick save um <laughs> all right let's uh decouple here get rid of this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this piece here um, I actually been doing this on all my launches ever since I basically started is I have been decoupling and uh, putting all these modules on a suborbital trajectory to get ri get rid of them because basically this does have a control you know it does have a control module on it or whatever the uh, the satellite core or whatever you want to call it and I just want to make sure that these aren't floating around for no reason let's just switch back and uh, we'll, we'll do an EVA with Jeb here and he'll do some uh, station cleaning here come on it's like ring through the Kerbal or Kerbal Through the Ring, or whatever you want to call it. It'd be really funny to see if somebody actually made a game out of this, and they, basically, you would fly through the rings. Hit it away. Oh, I missed. And did I hit it again? Oh, my God. We're freaking out. But, yeah, this space station's looking awesome already. I don't, I don't know if you guys are liking it. I'm loving it. I'm gonna have to re. I'm gonna have to change the orbit though. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa what's going on? I'm gonna have to fix the orbit though because it is looking a little bit funky the way it's sitting. But ah, wow! I'm just going up and down, up and down. I'm trying to hit this piece a little bit just to push it away. I'm I'm really mad that the last one destroyed the space station. So we're doing it to just be angry at something. Let's see if I can fly through it. Yeah! Oh, I hit it. No, it's going towards the space station! <laughs> oh my god. Don't go towards the solar panels, please. I won't like that. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's spazzing out. It's going right for the solar panels, too. I'm not very good at EVAs. I think I hit it away though. I think it's I think it's good now. I think it's good. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I'm gonna go back inside the space station and I'm gonna call it a day. I was just checking his pack fuel. We burned almost half more than half his pack fuel now. But once you get back inside, I think you get all the pack fuel back, so that's not really that big of a deal. I really suck at EVAs. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Stop it. Oh my god. If you hit this panel, Jeb, I am going to kill you. I don't want to relaunch this. Oh my god. Not again. Just stay here. There we go. So, uh, let's see. We're not going to get that great of a view because the module itself down here got all... Or, well, I shouldn't say it got all screwed up. Um, 
Oh my god, I just turned on RCS by accident. <laughs> wow, I'm just doing all the wrong things. So, actually, I'll just get inside, um, do an IVA. So, this is going to be, this is going to be more to pointed towards the ground. So, this will end up, you know, you'll basically have a view of Kerbin inside here. So, anyways, guys, uh, it's been a little fun, this episode. We had a little bit of fun. Uh, where is that? Alright, that thing is going away. Good. Uh, I hate that decoupler. Um... But yeah, we had a little bit of fun, and uh, yeah, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.